Hello, everybody. Happy Friday, January 20th. Tomorrow is obviously Saturday, January 21st. And it is the start, the kickoff of our 60 day shadow work challenge. So many people, hundreds of people have emailed me and received the template and are ready to go with these 60 days. If you have not emailed me yet, and you still would like to participate, it's never too late. You can email me 40 days in, 20 days in, 60 days in, and I'll still send you the template because this is very important work. It never ends. The work never ends. Um, we had such a successful 30-day challenge back in November. I can't wait to see what unfolds with this 60 days. 60 days is a lot, and there are so many people who have contributed to this challenge especially i want to give a very special thank you to emmy simpson from holistic genie with emmy as well as shanti from aquarius rising africa both of those two ladies contributed a lot to this challenge and it really 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 helped me out and i'm so excited where they were willing to contribute as much as they did because they are both very their powerhouses in their own modalities of healing and i'm so excited that you're going to experience some of their words and some of their prompting with you during this time for you to get to know yourself now last 30 day challenge for those of you who did the 30 day challenge you know that i did a video every single day of the 30 days to help prompt you through the 30 days because this is a 60 day challenge i will not be doing a video every single day on the 60 day channel of course the regular videos i do will still be released that have nothing to do with the the challenge but i'll only be updating you guys every week or every few days now when we get to a very intense part of the challenge especially emmy's section and shanti's section i'll be bringing them back on the channel to be talking you through some stuff as well and i really really highly suggest that if you are not subscribed to their channels that you go ahead and subscribe to both Holistic Genie with Emmy as well as um, Aquarius Rising Africa and Solutions by Aquarius Rising Africa to make the most out of your learning process and uh, the support that you need and the help you need from all of the sponsors. I, go ahead and subscribe to every single one of the sponsors just so that you have that, that help as you make your way through yourself um we also had a lot contributed by katherine edwards which you're going to see i'm going to go through the first uh, few days with you in a minute we had a lot contributed by katherine edwards we also have a video on the first day that was given to us by holly who is someone who works with emmy a lot as a healer and i have put her channel up in the um opening letter so i hope that you'll go ahead and subscribe to holly's channel too she's a healer as well and so you have a plethora of videos and support to help you get through this time. As I've said over and over again, and I will reiterate over and over and over again, if at any time this work does get too much, if you feel like it's a little bit too much and you're feeling overwhelmed, please reach out to someone, whether that be a trusted therapist or a healer, like a Reiki healer, you know, whatever you feel like you need, there's no shame in getting help. We all get help. I've had loads of help in my 17 years on this journey. So please, 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 if it feels like it's overwhelming and it's too much, reach out to someone. With that being said, let's go ahead and take a little peek at the 60 day challenge. At the beginning part of the 60 day challenge, let's see here, let me go all the way back up to the beginning. You can tell I've been sending this out and copying and pasting. So once again, you have your opening letter here, dear challengers, for the next 60 days, Esoteric Atlanta and friends will be hosting a global shadow work challenge. This challenge will last 60 days and each day will hold a few activities for you to do to help you in your journey of self-healing, self-discovery, and self-empowerment. I'm so excited that you decided to do this. Please know that all of these activities are for you and your experience only. No one will be watching you, judging you, or reading any of your journal entries. This is simply a private experience for you and you alone. Since you have submitted yourself to do this challenge, your name will go into a raffle to potentially win prizes at the end of this challenge. These prizes consist of access to workout websites, tarot card private readings provided by Stephanie Schapp, healing treatments with Emmy, courses provided by Katherine Edwards and Aquarius Rising Africa, and a private lesson with me. I didn't offer that last time, but I'm offering it this time. 
Winners will be picked at random, but the biggest reward of all is seeing just how strong you truly are by doing this challenge for yourself. It is recommended that the exercise portion of the daily challenge be done first thing in the morning before breakfast and before the start of your day. But if this is not doable for you now, you can do the exercise at whatever time of the day works best for you. Okay, so don't be beholden to that. Yes, we want you working out first thing in the morning because of Brahma Mortha and it helps get set you up and your stomach's empty. So it helps the blood flow to the muscles better and helps you become more raw and real with your emotions. But if that is not okay for you right now, then that's fine. If working out in the afternoon is better for you, then do it in the afternoon. Just do what works for you, okay? Please know that this challenge is merely a template of what you can do to jumpstart your shadow work. With that being said, if a day passes and you don't get in all the activities, don't stress. You just start again the next day, picking up where you left off. Don't stop because you had one bad day. You are human and humans are resilient. For the ladies who are practicing in this challenge, for the first couple of days of your cycle, you might want to either rest or do a cycle-based exercise. Here is a link you can substitute on your cycle if you decide to do so. Always, as always, this is totally your choice. So here's those links. If you need a warm up before your daily exercises, a link to my sun salutations and hip opening stretches are available during the daily exercises. Please note, if you have lower back issues, that's a common issue, hip opening stretches will help. Please try to do them before you proceed with your daily workout. I do hip opening stretches before I do my practice every morning. It, it just helps my body get the blood flowing, get my tight stuff to start unsticking so it can move um, more fluidly during the practice. For pregnancy, please be mindful. Depending on where you are in your pregnancy, you might want to only do the bar exercises, replacing them with the more cardio exercises on other days. What you will need for this challenge is the internet, which I know you all have because you're watching me now, a journal, castor and castor oil if you wish to participate in the Friday night oil baths. That's just an optional Friday night thing, oil baths. I will put a link down in the description box below of me talking about oil baths so that you uh, have a better idea of why you're actually doing or have the option to do the oil baths. There is one video with the option of a two to three pound hand weights. Please note that this particular video can be done without weights or you can substitute weights with soup cans or water bottles, etc. Find the resistant that works for you. You might want to take a before photo on day one of the challenge and an after photo on the final day of the challenge so you can see how your body changed during the 60 days for your eyes only. This is optional. I personally advise against weighing. That's my personal belief. Now, I know some people can handle weighing. I know that a lot of people get very addicted to the numbers on the scales. And I want you to understand that numbers on the scale is just your gravitational pull to the earth, right? They mean nothing. What means something is what's happening emotionally and, and internally for you. And the more you start to shed the emotional weight, the body weight's going to just naturally fall off, right? and how strong you're feeling you your body can change and look so much healthier without one pound being lost because you've transmuted the fat to muscle right so don't if, if weighing is an issue for you don't weigh okay uh, the numbers on the scales do not define the internal and emotional work being done but it's always this up to you so but if you can handle weighing and not get attached to the numbers then that's fine totally up to you if the trauma work becomes too overwhelming, as I previously said in this channel, please reach out for help. Again, this is just meant to be something to jumpstart your own personal work. If it becomes a lot, please reach out to a trusted therapist or healer to help you navigate. If you have any issues, issues pulling up links, please copy and paste them into your YouTube tab. Please note that I will be posting each day's challenges in the evening before on Esoteric Atlanta's community tab. For example... January 21st, tomorrow's challenge is going to be posted today on my community tab with this opening letter so that you have a reference point. During this challenge, there will also be optional book club run by Nicole and Emmy. If you wish to join the book club, here are the two books that will be read during the two months. Nicole and Emmy are in charge of the scheduling for this book club. So here's the signal, the link. It's in your opening letter to that signal group. And the first book, of course, we've talked about is Polishing the Mirror. The second book is Walking Each Other Home. There will also be an optional fast towards the end of this challenge. This fast is going to be run by Shanti from Aquarius Rising Africa. Again, this is optional. If fasting is not for you, a cleanse will also be presented, a kitchery cleanse, okay? Please keep your health a priority. If you're prone to disordered eating, 
I have to be careful about how much I say about that on YouTube, but you guys know what I'm talking about, like starving yourself or binging. It is advised that you not do the fast or do the cleanse. Please note that fasting or cleansing is not for weight loss and should, nor should ever be used for weight loss. So let me explain this a little bit. So yes, we want to trigger your triggers during the shadow work, but if triggering your triggers, if you have a disordered, um, taking in a food, I'll say, so I don't trigger the algorithms on YouTube. Doing something like a fast is probably not going to help you. It's probably going to end up hurting you and feeding into the disorder. Okay. So only do fasting. If you have that type of disorder, only do fasting when you really know you've worked through it and do it with a medical professional helping you so that you're not gaslighting yourself. You're not, your, your ego is not tricking you all that kind of stuff. So we have to be very careful with that. But again, take your health into your own hands. There will also be a 21 day sun salutation challenge uh, within the 60 day challenge starting on February 27th. This challenge is like all things optional. Once we get closer to February 27th, we will release a template for those who want to practice or participate. If you decide not to do the sun sal salutation challenge, there are other exercises listed on those days. You can also do the sun salutation challenge on top of the challenge exercise listed in this template. This, of course, depends on your level of fitness. Shanti from Aquarius Rising Africa will also be leading the sun salutation challenge. If you would like to join the Esoteric Atlanta Signal Support Group, please follow the link below. All right, here are all the participating challenge, so please make sure you're subscribed to everybody on this list. Um, good luck and have the best 60 days ever. You are a badass. Never forget that. So for more information and tips from our last shadow work challenge to help you with this challenge, there is the link to that playlist. Lots of love, Bryce. That's me from Esoteric Atlanta. So bonus challenge. This is from Catherine Edwards. And this is something for us for you to be thinking about and contemplating throughout the whole 60 days. So I say to work on during the challenge, share and share in the signal support group if desired. Really think about this during the duration of the challenge. From Catherine, one, in the spirit of all sharing our knowledge, every person spends one day researching something that will improve the health and well-being of others. Write up bullet point notes and share. It could be a natural remedy, how to use an herb, essential oils, how to preserve, how to make something homemade, for example, soap a healthy habit, how to save water, mend something, anything that others can incorporate into their lives. After the challenge is over, we hope to put this all together on one large board. Two, share your three focus points of 2023. They can be personal or collective. Basically, this would be to really focus on what we've as a collective do want to happen. Everyone picking and sharing one to three things that are an absolute will do's to move themselves forward, the collective forward towards our new earth. This will help every person in the challenge more move forward collectively as well as personally. All right. So day one, which is tomorrow. So super important, guys. Today, so tomorrow, Saturday, January 21st, Emma Simpson will be doing a group Reiki class. This class will help you establish your intention and prepare your energy for the 60 days to come in this work. If you would like to participate, this class starts at 2 p.m. Eastern time. I don't believe this is going to be recorded. It's just going to be working with Emmy to help you set yourself up. The link is provided here in the template. So if this is something you want to do at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So make sure you choreo choreograph that or coordinate with that with your own time zone. Okay. So if you are in the central time, that's going to be 1 p.m. for you. If you're in mountain time, that's 12 p.m. for you. So forth, so forth, so forth. If you're in the UK, that's five hours ahead. So that's 7 p.m. your time. Um, and so just make sure you're looking at these times so that you're coordinating, coordinating them with wherever you are in the world. All right. So we have coordinated the 60-day challenge to end on March 21st, two days before the 23rd. March 23rd is a very important astrological day for us globally. We normally would not start a challenge on a rest day. This particular challenge is the exception. If you feel you need to take a 40 to 60 minute walk today, you may do so. The two days leading up to the 23rd post challenge will be up to you to, de to design to help you gain more autonomy leading up to the 23rd of March. So have faith that over 60 days, you will have a better grip on what you need to do to continue your own shadow work, right? The teacher's job, listen, Super important lesson here. The teacher's job is to eventually not be needed, okay? So my job is to to eventually step away 
and let you do this yourself on your own. Now, with that being said, you are always welcome to ask your teachers questions moving forward. I still ask my teachers questions. You know, I've been doing this for 17 years and every single day now for most of my most of my years, me doing this myself. But there are times that I have to go and ask my my um, my teachers for some advice or for some guidance. So it doesn't mean you don't ever seek out further education or guidance. It just means that my job is to help you become more autonomous and so that you can do this by yourself, all right? So on this self-study Saturday rest day, your challenge is to mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and physically get yourself prepared for the work at hand. For more information, I've put some videos up here. The shadow side of being a healer with Holly. And I'm so excited Holly is doing this. Um, she's an incredible healer. She works with Emmy a lot. And her channel is right here. Um, right here is Holly's channel channel. So make sure you're you're subscribed to her because she has so many great videos of talks and stuff to do that can really help you get yourself through these next 60 days. Okay. We also have a video here, a very real and raw conversation with Emmy and Bryce and the Dark Knight of the Soul and in India stories right here. Okay. So that's stuff you can watch to kind of really help you get your mind around what you are embarking on. So for your self-study research shadow work, what is shadow work? What is the shadow side? Why is working through your triggers important for your growth spiritually? How is exercise an integral part of shadow work, right? Please uh, journal your research and ask yourself some personal questions. Why are you doing this challenge? What do you hope to accomplish during this channel? What is your intention? And that could literally be, I have no idea why I'm doing this challenge. I just thought it would be fun or interesting. Like there, there's no correct answer here. Nobody's going to be reading your journals. You don't have to answer all the questions. These questions I just put out are prompting you to start writing and start digging into yourself. Okay. So they don't, you don't have to answer all of them. It's just something to get your mind going. All right. Is there something you're nervous about regarding this challenge? What are you aware uh, or what are you most resistant to regarding this challenge? What are you most excited about in this challenge? So what about this challenge scares you the most? And what are you the most excited about? Before you go to bed tonight, go ahead and lay out your workout clothes for tomorrow. This is all a well-known secret in the yoga world. Your morning practice actually starts the night before, okay? That's a very well-known secret in our little yoga community. Your morning practice starts the night before. And I do this. I lay out my yoga clothes I lay out right on my dresser right below the TV every night I lay them out for me to get up in the morning and just put them on okay so um your morning practice or morning workout if you're not into yoga always starts the night before by getting your clothes ready you start to prepare your mind for the next morning turn off all electronics one hour before bed instead read a book or write more in your journal go to bed before 10 p.m bonus challenge which you'll have these things will be true every single day drink 64 ounces of water today to help detox from the exercise if you're a meat eater can you try to go without meat today replacing it with veggies take a hot bath with salts before bed try to relax into the bath allowing the muscles and the mind more importantly to unwind day two sunday january 22nd so for sunday sunday fun day during this challenge as in the last challenge sunday will be filled with fun exercises the good time to get your family together or take time alone to dance or walk this is a time to experiment with finding the joy in exercise this is especially important for those who don't like to exercise and have a bad relationship with exercise so if you're someone who is very resistant to doing any type of workout there's a trigger for you why are you resistant to exercise? What is it about exercise that triggers you? Okay, and the Sunday fun day is going to kind of revolve like showing you the joy of exercise too to help change your perspective on what exercise really is. So I have here exercise. Please select the one that's appropriate for you. Warm up for both beginner and experienced. Here is the hip opening exercise. Beginners, we have a Zumba dance class for beginners, 10 minutes. I told you there was going to be more selections for exercises in this template versus the 30-day template. We also have Jane Fonda's low impact aerobics. That's 45 minutes. Or you can just choose to do 15 minutes sun salutations with me. Experienced people who've been doing this for a while, you could do Richard swimming, sweating to the oldies for 60 minutes or... For both experienced and beginner challenges, take a, bri a brisk walk outside for 60 minutes. You can either do this alone with your friends or family. Just make sure to have fun. And I also have an, an option here. So as a lot of you guys know, I am now offering my live classes 
that I do at uh, my Sunday classes and, and, and in studio classes at Sacred Garden Yoga. I do at 8.30 Eastern time. So that's Eastern time every uh, Sunday. And so you're welcome. Here is the link so you can register to the class if you would like to participate in my Sunday morning half primary Ashtanga classes at Sacred Garden Yoga. You can sign in virtually to be on Zoom. Now, once again, with Ashtanga Yoga, I want you to make sure you are super familiar with the half primary series before signing up for this class, okay? And we're going to be looking at the half primary series again during this challenge with Ashtanga Nurse. So for Sunday, uh, journal questions to ask, have you ever considered exercise to be fun? Is this a new concept for you? How did it feel to raise your heart today? What emotions did you feel post-exercise? What emotions did you feel pre-exercise? All right. Again, once again, before you go to bed tonight, go ahead and lay out all your workout clothes for tomorrow. This is a well, again, a well-known secret. You put it all out. You know, go to bed before 10, turn your electronics off an hour before. You got your bonus challenges here. Day three, which is Monday, January 23rd. I feel like during the week, the first week of the challenges when shit starts getting real, right? So exercise, please select one that's appropriate for you. So warm up for both beginners and experience. There's the hip warm up. Um, for both beginners and experienced challengers, try to start your exercise program by doing five Surya Namaskar A and three Surya Namaskar B. If this is too much for you in the beginning, just do the beginner exercises for the first week and then try to add in the Siri Namaskar AMB next week. So here's a link to my video of the sun salutations. And then we have beginner exercise, eight minute bar exercise with Marnie Alton. We experienced, we have the 45 minute bar exercise with Marnie Alton, or you can do a 60 minute bar with Fit by Lori. Note, she does she does use hand weights in this video, but you can always opt to do the workout without the weights. So she's a different bar teacher. There's quite a difference between her and Marnie Alton. I, of course, Laurie is great. I think she's fantastic, hence why I added her into the challenge. But I, of course, am partial to Marnie Alton. But I wanted to give you guys a different, uh, so you can see the difference between the two bar teachers. Sometimes one teacher is going to say something that that you that you go, aha, light like light, lightning lightning bolt moment right where another teacher's been saying it forever and it never like hits you right so i wanted to add her in too so that you guys could experience her as well journal questions to ask yourself if you did this first thing in the morning how did it affect the rest of your day what was the experience of the bar class like did you feel any emotions come up in the class if so what were they can you explore those emotions more privately if this is your second time in the challenge you did the 30-day challenge. How are you feeling this time in comparison to the last challenge? If this is your second time, which exercise selection did you pick and why? So if this is your second time in the challenge and you picked the beginner exercise, why did you do that? There's no wrong answer. You could have really needed the beginner exercise this morning. Maybe you were tired. Maybe there was something emotional. Eight minutes was all you could handle. But I want you to explore that. Or did you pick the beginner exercise because you knew it was only eight minutes and not 45 minutes or an hour? See if you can see where that artful dodger is sneaking in, okay? Only you can answer that. All right, day four. Tuesday, you're going to repeat the same exercise. You have the same selections as yet as the day before. I repeat exercises a lot, even though there's lots of different exercises in this challenge. There'll be a few days where you're repeating the same exercise. This is done intentionally, okay? So uh, day four, new challenge. During your morning shower, try to make the water cold for the last five minutes of your shower to help with inflammation and blood flow. So you're also going to be looking into cold therapy or cryotherapy today. Why I'm having you take a cold shower. Um, here's some links. Uh, here's a link with Wen Hoff. So journal, were you sore today? If so, how did the soreness affect your workout? What emotions did the soreness invoke in you today? It's okay to exercise when you're sore. If, if, if you don't exercise because you're sore, that's your ego. That's the artful dodger. Every single person who has a daily workout program has most of the days they work out they're sore okay i've been sore for now 17 years all right so so that's not an excuse not to exercise okay did new emotions pop up today different from yesterday if so what were they how did going to bed before 10 p.m affect your sleep and your energy levels the next day surprisingly that was the one of the biggest feedbacks i got from people from the 30 day that making themselves go to bed before 10 really changed them and so um i'm curious to see how that happens in the 60 day what was the five minute cold shower like were you able to breathe through it is cold therapy new for you during the course of this challenge notice how your body starts to respond to the cold shower does inflammation go down for you do you have more energy during the day how does this cold shower affect your mood list five things you like about yourself same closing for the day 
day five wednesday um you are going to be doing yoga this day okay so you can warm up with the sun salutations hip openers and you have the beginner 20 minute beginner ashtang yoga or the um half primary which again this is the link to the half primary i want you to be very familiar with before you start coming to my live classes all right so during your morning shower try to make the water cold for the last five minutes uh, of your shower to help with inflammation and blood flow so once again how was your soreness today how was yoga different from bar? So start to notice the subtle differences between how your body and your nervous system responds from one exercise to another exercise. We're going to look at this deeper and deeper and deeper as we go into the challenge. What is bar pull up for you? What is yoga pull up for you? What is kickboxing pull up for you? What is dance pull up for you? These are all different activations of the body that are going to inv invoke different responses. And that's something for you to get to know about yourself, okay? Does yoga pull up different emotions from the bar? How is the five minute cold shower affecting you? How is going to bed before 10 affecting you? List five things you like about yourself and list three things you want to work on. All right, look three people in the eyes and smile at them today. Same closing for the day. Um, Thursday, you're once again, let's see, you're doing, you can either do, we got the same warm up. All right. Or you can do beginner 20 minute Ashtanga yoga with Ashtanga nurse or the 30 minute bar class with Marnie or try them both together experience you can do the half primary series with ashtanga nurse or you can do the 60 minutes uh with lori with the weights with bar okay so same thing do you guys kind of get a, like a feel for this right now for thursday you have a new challenge do one thing today to help another person this could be opening the door for someone to buying someone lunch or donating clothes to charity or simply telling someone how beautiful they look etc no kind uh task is too small look through people in the eyes and smile at them same closing for the night and then again, Friday, so this is your last day of exercise before your Saturday rest day. All Saturdays are rest days. So you're going to do the same warm-up, same um, same beginner options and experienced options, journaling. Um, and then you have your oil bath optional for Friday night to get inflammation to help you rest on Saturday. And again, I will put that video down in the description box below if, if you're curious about the oil bathing. All right, you guys, let me know if you have any questions. Um, we will touch back in a couple of days to see how you guys are doing. Again, if you're totally new and you don't have the template yet, it's never too late. If you know family and friends who want to join next week or the week after or whenever, just have them email me. It's never too late to join. It's never too late to start. You'll just shift the dates basically, right? So anyway, I hope you guys are doing well and I cannot wait to see how this turns out. You are the storm. You got this. Best is yet to come. Bye, you guys.